Galnet News Update, 11th of October 3308. The sole survivor of Azimuth Biochemical's terrible Project Seraph experiments, which attempted to get humans to fly thyroid spaceships, has rejected Azimuth's attempts to get her once again under their control. Xiao Jin A, who was known to Azimuth as test subject D2, placed herself in the care of Imperial scientist Professor Albert Tezro, who was one of the leaders of Aegis Research, the now defunct Tri Superpower Xeno Research and Defence Organization. Azimuth Biotech's CEO, Torben Rademacher, suggested that Tezro may have put pressure on D2 to reject his offer, and in a confession that contradicted his earlier claim that Azimuth had no idea what Salvation had been doing at Oaken Point, he said that Azimuth has details of all the surgery carried out on the Project Seraph test subjects. Professor Tezra put out a long statement in which he revealed that Xiao Jing Ai has been hiding from Azimuth and that she has no reason to change her mind now. She suffered a series of invasive surgical procedures when held captive at Oaken Point, and although her health has improved, she has an implant in her cerebral cortex designed to interface with thyroid technology that cannot be safely removed. Tezro is working with engineers Ramtar and Ishmael Palin to better understand the procedures Azimuth has inflicted upon their former test subject and the insight it seems to have given her into Thargoid communication, and in particular, the so-called Thargoid Roar. Following the symposium that Professor Tesser organised last week, there are optimistic signs for Aegis. Alliance Deputy Prime Minister Angela Corcoran has expressed her support for reforming the organisation as a trustworthy rallying point for humanity's response to the Thargoid threat. <laughs> 